Hey everybody, welcome back to the R.I.P. edition of Dark Siders. I'm Andrew Campbell, and this is Whole Tech Gaming. Let's go. Uh, man, this is such a I, I love this game. Love it, love it, love it. Let's let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and decimate some. Whoa, Chaos Eater leveled up. Look at that. The Chaos Eater courses with energy, and its destructive power increases. Wow, that's cool. I forgot that was a feature. That's that's awesome, man. I really like that. Hey, a bat. Stab. <laughs> that's, that's a whole lot of blood. That guy's dead. But whatever. It's fun. I'm having fun. It's all good. Bye, zombie. You gotta kind of find a, a, a good line to walk with the combat system, right? Uh, you need to know which enemies are just squashable. And you need to know when to go ahead and do the kill move on some of the more aggressive or strong enemies. Just, you know, to get out of the situation, right? Uh, call the herd. We're going the wrong way. Is it on the other side outright? I believe so. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> and remember that if you destroy these crows, you can heal yourself. Which is cool, in my opinion. Wait a minute. That seems significant. Let's go over here. Is this just a drop-off? Uh... Can I go down here? I did, but I shouldn't have. <laughs> oh, God, what did I do? There, yeah, there you go. Hey, guys, you gotta, you gotta respect me for at least trying, right? Well, not respect me, but acknowledge that I'm willing to take stupid risks. Let's go ahead and stab a bat. Because <laughs> it, it looked at me weird. I think that sounds pretty fun. And you're asking yourselves, how, how is he killing those bats so easily? They gave me a hard time when I played. Well, it's easy. You jump up and you press B. If you just swing your sword at them, yeah, they're a bit of a pain in the butt. But hey, there we go. This is this is what exploration's all about, baby cakes. This is what you got to do. This is what you got to do. And well, not take unnecessary hits from the fire monster. I'll tell you that. So yeah, going back to the, the, hey, look at that, the Chaos Eater leveled up, isn't that special? Uh, having a, a system in place to where the weapons you use more often get leveled up as you go, that's pretty cool, I like that a lot, man, I mean, took a little bit of a hit there, that ain't too bad. Let's see what we got, what we get, a soldier artifact, hell yeah. Uh, we're not going to go to Volgrim and cash that out just yet. We're going to hold on to that. Because we're going to get a couple of them in the dungeon. And then it's going to be pancakes and waffles all day long. Are these guys spawning because I went to Volgrim? Or... Because I'm pretty sure I went through here and killed these guys, right? Yeah, well. Truck to your face. I'm happy about it. And yeah, uh, I'm not going to bullshit you. If we actually intend on finishing this game, it's probably going to take a little longer than Zelda. I really do think so. It has a lot of scene transitions. The story is really captivating at points. Uh, we're they're, The characters, in my opinion, are way better in this game. They're, they're very memorable characters in this. And you'll see. You, you'll... you'll agree with me whenever we get there. Let's let's honk at a at a golem dude, huh? And listen to him, because he just demands I have respect. come for the destroyer. My brother spoke of your coming. But a powerful curse holds me now. I cannot help you. Any curse can be broken. Yes, perhaps. These servants of the Destroyer walk unseen within the realm of shadow. By their blood we are bound. By their blood shall we be free. I can no longer move within the shadow realm. Much of my power has left me. You need not enter it. I will grant you the power to see into the accursed realm for a time. But to what end? What hope have we now against the Destroyer's foul sorcery? 
hope will not bring you freedom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah! That's awesome. Hope will not bring you freedom. Absolutely, dude. You can tell that this came out at like the height of the. Well, not height, but. Hide and kill them all. They go kill some shadow workers. So, like I said, I had joined the Navy in 2007. The second Gulf War started in 2003, right? So, for games of this era, like Modern Duty Call of Modern Warfare Call of Duty 2, Modern Warfare 2. Anyway, you know what I'm saying. What I'm trying to get at is that there were a lot of oh, cool, a fighting area. I'm gonna really enjoy this. Uh, a lot of games of this time. Uh, had a lot of American America fuck yeah you know coming again to save the motherfucking day yeah they had a bunch of had a bunch of that nuancey stuff to it um, you know I kind of dig it I'm not gonna bullshit you I'm, I'm a big fan of it but I'm not as ignorant as I once was whenever I was younger I mean that's just a fact man you, you grow, you understand what's going on, you, you don't take life for granted. Unless you like squishing zombos. Lord knows I love squishing zombos. Hey, by the way, I don't know if any of y'all know this, I got a, I got a Bumbler account uh, maybe four or five months ago. First time I ever attempted doing some online dating. Uh, I've deleted it because it was, it was very frustrating. I, uh, uh, no, no people like me, which is fine, no big deal, nobody liked me, but somebody actually swiped right on me, and like, uh, not gonna name names, no big deal, but I will say, kind of a dick move to talk to you for one evening, and then never talk back again, and like, I'm not saying that she was out of my league or anything, because I've, I've got I've got a hell of a charismatic personality as far as I'm concerned. But I'll tell you this: it's it's pretty bad whenever you uh, don't talk again to the person that you initiated a, a thing with, right? Just my just my opinion. I probably shouldn't be as salty as I am, but it, it's I don't know, man. It's been a while. <laughs> There's some bullshit like that. Let's just say that. I need to focus on big boy. I need to... Well, I don't. I know how to do this. The problem is... There's a there's a creature kill quota. That's the thing. The faster I kill all these other guys, the better I'll do, or at least I'll pass it. And I'll, I'll do it. It'll, they'll die. The trick, though, is... Uh, killing all the small guys, you know, you have to get the 40, and you have to be good about hitting the kill button. If you don't uh, take advantage of the kill button, you kind of screw yourself. And I've got 38 seconds, I should be okay. Yeah, see, as soon as that thing pops up, that's the thing, I'll probably just ignore the big old Bertha here, and take care of the small ones, but I run the risk. I've only got, uh, what was it, whoops, I just gotta watch it, that's it, oh no, I'm not gonna make it, am I, that dash, no precious seconds, it's not gonna happen, that sucks, well, maybe, maybe, can I pull it out, did I do it, did I do it, I did it, didn't I, there was, there was uh, 0.79 milliseconds left. I did it. I can't believe that worked Excellent. out. Excellent. Hell yeah. So happy. And look at that. Uh, I'm sorry for uh, I'm sorry for getting all those guys to try to kill you, man. Uh, 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 I don't know. I, I, I don't. I, man, I didn't try to put a rooflin in your drink. What are you talking about? Ah! <laughs> Hell yeah. Sorry, I had to take a victory swig. Very happy with myself. As I should be. 
and that's the thing they just replenished all of my wrath I didn't use a wrath technique at all which is stupid I don't know why I didn't do it uh, that's every what's that over there I wonder I wonder wonder who my do who who wrote the book of love all right that's enough of that I guess that's nothing it's just good world building decoration even though there are obviously other discs in the room that are the exact same thing. What's over here? Nothing. Pretty gothic architecture. That's all that is. Okay, so we, we did this one. Yeah. It's a good thing I noticed it last episode. We gotta go over to the other side, I believe. We gotta break on through to the other side. <laughs> Uh, then we gotta do that again, which I'm totally down for. I'm definitely not gonna uh, focus on the big guy next time. I'm just gonna go ahead and take take the hits and take out the small ones. Maybe not individually crush every single zombo, but we'll see how it goes, man. I'm excited and elated either way. I don't know if I told y'all this semantics about that Nintendo so I took that uh, I took what was it about 30 minutes 45 minutes in between episode 3 and 4 and I tested out the system itself it's definitely dirty it, it's in a it was in a barn uh, okay the glor the gory end okay so now this is the combat thing to teach you how to do that Wonderful. I already mastered that in my opinion. So this will be fun. Oh, bats. I love killing these in quick succession. But uh, the games. So I got uh, Top Gun to work. And then I got uh, Ice Hockey to work. And mind you, these are classic NES titles. Um, now, if you get a mini NES, which I need to do... Uh, you, ice hockey's on it because it's just such a great game. Uh, Top Gun is not. Just FYI, it's, it's not a, a rare game by any means. But it's cool because it's not on the uh, emulator. Which you know, having the original hardware is cool. I'm kind of I nerd out about it. Uh, now that I've been out of the service and I've kind of had a lot of free time to kind of expand my horizons technological wise, I said that wrong. Point is, it's fun for me. Um, there you go. Orient. There we go. Um, I enjoy technology. I thought, whenever I was, I was raised to think that technology was a weakness, right? I, as I've said in earlier episodes, like, my family were, were rock layers. We, we laid brick and rock on houses, and, you know, I was on a rock pile during the day. Like, my summers and my early childhood before even going to school was just me working, right? Uh, we, I didn't, we never had the internet at home. Like, mind you, I graduated in 2006, and like, we had a hand-me-down computer from, I think, one of my mother's friends, and it was, uh, it was an old, old thing. Like, it had an old DOS game called Battle Chess. Like, it was not a modern at all. I mean, it was one of the ones I'd figure it would be, uh... I guess I do have to take this big guy out. He's gonna, he's gonna wreck the shot. Let's do this. Yeah. Will be able to beat him in time? Don't know. Hey, there we go. See, the Chaos Eater got stronger. That fight got a lot of... Well, they might have scaled down the HP on the enemy. Either way, he's super dead, and I'm super stoked about it. Right. Uh, we still got two minutes. We're looking okay. It's because of how good I am at stabbing bats, I guess. <laughs> and I'm okay with that. There we go. Sweep the leg. 
Daniel's on. I don't know if I've, I've seen Karate Kid many, many, many times. I'm more of a fan whenever he goes to Japan and he, he saves that one, I think it's a little girl that's stuck somewhere during a tsunami. Like, I really love that movie. I don't know what it is, man. Just 90s and 80s uh, fight movies. Hey, look at that. The scythe leveled up. We're doing pretty good. That's awesome. We're doing really good. I don't remember getting those upgrades so fast. Well, of course, I probably didn't straight up use the scythe as much as I have been. I'm doing that uh, for y'all. There. there you go. There's 30. Pew, 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 pew. Dead guy! Hell yeah! Ah, we did it! We did it, we did it, we did it! And now we get to reap the reward, excuse me. I always knew you had it in you. Absolutely. Uh, hey guy, uh, super sorry about trying to kill you there. Uh, I really didn't mean any disrespect. Ah! <laughs> Outstanding, recruit. Hey, we actually used some wrath this episode. Aren't you super impressed with me? That's probably why the, the dude was so easy, right? Well, not easy, but he, he definitely was a little easy, in my opinion. Okay, so now, I don't know why I'm noticing this, but that guy's lit up, and that guy's lit up. So, there's two more? Is that what I'm reading? There's two more of those cursed things that I have to deal with? I could have swore there was only two. Well, of course, 11 years ago where it was two. Oh, nope, nope, there are, there are four of them. Awesome. Keen observation, Mr. Campbell. Thanks, Mr. Campbell. <laughs> uh, I'm losing it, man. But it's a fun type of losing. Anybody looking to party in December? You're more than welcome to... Oh, um... Uh, if okay, here's here's something that's gonna be fun. These are the official invites for my graduation party. Matthew Dotson, Daniel Mahalik, uh, Troy Mahalik, Devin Mahalik, Megan Mahalik, respectively. I did not say those in any specific order uh, to denote or to denote how much I loved you, uh, Judy. Amber, Derek, Devin, Lily, uh, Uncle Waylon, Nathan, Aaron, Daniel, Tana, Stacy, Rachel, Jamie, uh, shit, all of your kids, <laughs> Cammy, Corey, Kara, Cade, Aunt Debbie, Uncle Brooke, uh, Jack, you can come if you do not drink. If you drink, I'm not allowing you to come. Uh, who else? I named I named Waylon's, Aunt Tana's, Debbie's. Uh, 50. 50 guys. Alright, here we go. I think it might be a little bit more efficient if I use the site. I'm not quite sure. But that's how we're going to roll. Uh, Colt Maney. Uh, John Robinson. Uh, Willie, my son Willie, you gotta come. I need you there, buddy. Uh, man, there's there's Megan Campbell. I want you there. Uh, Jace Moran, I want you there. Um, who else? Tyler, I guess you can come as long as you don't turn. As long as you do the worm on the dance floor, that's totally okay. I'm I'm happy to have you there. Michael Campbell, his lovely wife Callie, love to have you there. Uh, trying to think of family members that I specifically have. Well, there's my mother's side. I'm not inviting my own mother, by the way. <laughs> That's not happening. Uh, Sydney, you're welcome to come. Aunt Rhonda, you're welcome to come. Uh, Uncle Elliot, I'd love to have you there. Uh, Grandma. Uh, unfortunately, I don't think you'll be able to make it specifically because of your health complications, but I love you and I hope you're doing well. Forgive me for not being as communicative as I should be with you. 
Uh, I love you deeply. I just, you know, it's scary whenever you see a loved one, loved one start to go down the path, you know. So don't think any worse of me. But I know that I love you, and I, I hope you're able to come to my graduation. If not, I'll try to come to you. Oh, uh, and there, there are a plethora. Believe it or not, I'm, I'm a decently popular person. <laughs> Despite my uh, my dealings with YouTube, I'm actually uh, well known around the Bass Drop and Austin area. Right, Sean McDonald, you're you're welcome. Your your lovely soon-to-be wife Sarah, you're absolutely welcome. Uh, hell, man, I think I'm I'm missing the the theme here. So apparently there are these chests. I'm taking constant damage. I just noticed that, and I don't know why the hell I'm just noticing it, but that's what's happening right now. Uh, so I need to take advantage of this. I need to go ahead and get my wrath back up. I need to get some health. I did not. I did not realize that I was able to move. I'm an idiot. I need to. I need to get over here as fast as I can. Is this gonna fully heal me? Uh, it did which is helpful. I think for continuity's sake, I definitely need to go ahead and get this wrath as fast as possible. But we're doing okay, I think. I just need to kill big, big boy Bruiser Brony here. There we go. Uh, I did not specifically state her, but that goes without stay, uh, saying. Candace Dotson and their son Austin, I absolutely want you there. Uh, man, if I talk to you on a regular basis, just I'm, you're gonna hear. I don't know why I'm using this episode of uh, Darksiders 2 to specifically convey my desire for you guys to come to a party. But, uh, just shout out to everybody who actually knows me and watches this show. I love you to death. Can't wait to see you. December the 8th, we're going to party like it's 1999 or later. <laughs> I don't know, man. It's going to be a great time. Uh, to be determined on the location. I am not entirely sure where we're going to have it, but I have a couple of prospective places, and it's going to be a lot of fun, man. Uh, yes, there is going to be a lot of music, a lot of dancing, and hopefully a, a lot of fun to be had. If you want to leave your kids with a babysitter, that's probably a good idea, because I'm going to be having a lot of fun myself. My boys are going to be there, so yeah, I guess bring kids and I won't go as crazy. But I'm definitely going to have a helper that's going to be around to uh, watch the kids instead of just me, you know. Let's go ahead and take down this last... Whoa, okay. I just... I'm sorry, guys. Hey, I'm Andrew Campbell with Holtec Gaming. This episode ran a little long. I apologize. We're going to go ahead and stop episode 5 and start episode 6. We're going to get this last seal over and done with. And then maybe on to the dungeon. Who knows? Uh, join me. I can't wait to see you next time. I love you guys. Bye-bye.